Hey guys, TC here again today for you. Uh, today we are going to look at Bert the Avenger, the little FB-304 Tier 6 British artillery piece. Um, as, you can, as you can see, fully decked out here, Union Jacks. He brings the wrath of heaven and he's called Bert. Uh, I believe the nickname was given by Sircon, possibly? I'm not entirely sure. But every, uh, for, forevermore this tank is referred to as Bert. Um, it's amazingly a lot of fun this. Um, it's one of the most fun tier 6 artilleries in the game. Um, I've aced it numerous times, um, so the replay you're going to see is actually my most recent ace in the Burt. Um, as you can see the crew is pretty advanced, uh, full camo um, across the crew, just working on BIA currently. We've got six cents, um, we have Dead Eye, we have Clutch Breaking, uh, Camo and more Camo. Uh, I really should retrain them from Camo, uh, possibly, um, to Intuition. Um, though <laughs> Intuition would do nothing on Bert because he only has one type of ammunition. He has a lot of it, but he only has one type of ammunition. Um, there's not really much point looking at, at these because you can't upgrade anything on Bert pretty much. He is, as he comes from factory, you can put a bigger engine on it and some tracks. Uh, the top radio, which you'll already have unlocked ages ago. The engine, you should, the engine you'd have to unlock. And the gun, you should have that unlocked already from the Bishop. So out of the box, you'll be able to put a lot of stuff on Bert. Um, my setup, I've gone with uh, a rammer, a, co a, a camouflage net, and uh, improved ventilation. Uh, because Bert is an enclosed SPG, you can run improved ventilation on it, and it's really worthwhile. Um, I am, however, 50 50 on this. I may be dropping the camo net for a gun laying drive. However, as you'll see in the replay, Bert aims ridiculously fast um, for an SPG so you don't always need to. Um, he doesn't have a huge amount of penetration unfortunately, he's only got a little gun. Cue all the puns and the mems that will be coming out from that. Um, but it has an amazingly high arc of fire. Um, it can virtually fire, it, fire ver it fires virtually vertical so you can hide behind items and use what I call the red line technique. Um, and the shell will just travel very high and come down on a very vertical trajectory. Um, you'll see use of that, uh, I think in the replay if I remember correctly, you, with the battle assistant mod. Obviously that gives you a view of where the shell is coming from, like a sniper scope view for artillery. Um, it's not illegal, it is actually backed by Wargaming that it won a competition, so there's nothing illegal there. Um, but yeah, that's Bert. It's a very quick intro to this one. Uh, there's not much to tell you about him. Everyone knows him. Um, <laughs> people who come, on, people who get attacked by him, call him Bert the Little Bastard. Um, he is an amazingly fun little tank. Uh, yes, as well, the top speed there, 72.4 kph. It does it. Uh, it doesn't turn very quick, but it's quick. Um, so without further ado, let's kick off and let's get the replay rolling. Okay guys, here we go. As you can see, we are playing in Bert. Uh, it's a very tier 8 game. Uh, little Bert is out, out of his depth a little bit here you'd think, but not so. Let's speed up the replay a little bit, get through the early uh, countdown timer and we'll start going. Um, as you can see, I've tweaked my mod pack a little bit and it seems a little bit more stable. Uh, so off we go. Initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to help Tan. Now you can see on my minimap here, so I'll just pop this up for you. You can see a thin red line there on the minimap here. This is the extent of Bert's range. That's as far as we can shoot. Um, now the technique I like to use is what I call the red line technique. So what I look to do is I look to get the red line as much as possible on the target I'm looking for. So initially, I'm look I think I'm going to help in the town, but what I uh, but I've changed my mind slightly, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a couple of shots into the middle. So as you can see, we enter our artillery view, 
and I'm looking for shots for the T37. Now he was last seen around here. So as you can see, we've aimed, we put a shot in there. Now Bert reloads very quickly, as you can see there. Uh, now we're looking over the Super P. He's gone into town, he's now safe from our shots, unfortunately. Bert's good, but he's not that good. But the T37 comes back out to play. As you can see though, because we're using the red line technique on the T37, he thinks he's safe. We fully aimed, we shoot, and we hit him and track him. And he's soon to be an XT37. He pulls back, he believes he's still safe. As you can see, we put another shell in, over the rock, straight in. T37 taking out the game. There's our first kill of this match. So you can see the extent of Burt's range. He's, he, we're right at the extremities there, uh, and that's the best way I find to play Burt. The shell will travel virtually in a vertical drop. So as you can see, we don't have the vertical drop at the minute, but as we move further back, we're able to just feather the shot onto the back of the KB4. Luckily, he moves forward for him. It was a wise decision, Mr. KB4. Um, once Burt has you in his gra has you and has you tracked, you do struggle to uh, get untracked. So as you can see, we're right at the edge of our range there. We can't actually get a shot onto the WZ111. So I have to actually physically drive the tank forward. Drop a shell into where we think the uh, WZ131 is, but as you can see, we've not found any shot. We've not found any hope. Okay, we're looking for shots in the town now. We find a bit clutch there and we're lucky to store, score a hit on the Super Perishing. The damage rolls you see here of 50 or so, these are the kind of average damage rolls you can expect to get from Burt. We aim a little bit in front of the KV-4 and we're rewarded with a nice hit. So we're waiting for this reload. We're going to aim here, but as you can see, because of our angle, we can't actually, you know, we can't actually land the shot where we want to. Looking for a cheeky shot between the buildings here, but we just can't get the feather. We can see him through the window, but as you can see, there's no outline, so that's a no hitbox. Even though the shell probably would have gone through that gap in reality, um, we just can't, we just can't get the shot to go through for us, unfortunately. But the KV-4 is coming forward, so we'll take full advantage and we'll just keep shooting him and shooting him and shooting him. Usual chat is up to its usual high standards here. Uh, next we see the OI. We aim in front and we get a nice hit, but of course only 37. Oh, we've been spotted though. Bert has been spotted. There Bert's clearly aiming at us. We pulled the trigger earlier though. And there we go. We've di we've taken out our, our opposite number. I then turn around to help with the cap area. I pull back behind the tiger here, and we take aim on the T30 and the T29. We fire a nice 137 damage roll. We're then looking at the T25-2 here on 130, 106 health. Hopefully, we can take this guy out in one shot. Unfortunately though we miss, that's a rare occasion with Burt. As you can see the aiming circle is so small on Burt uh, that you, the misses like that are very rare. 120 and we think we damaged his track there. As you can see the shell travel time is quite long. So we aim there, nearly, nearly take his track off which would have saved our E25 that damaging shot there unfortunately. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to try and drop the shell onto the engine deck. Um, you saw the HE actually not doing any damage. Um, that is a regular occur that is an occurrence that you will have find here. Another well led shot there, and another 152 damage. All the time you hear the critical hit dinging noise, that's more critical module damage. Now the problem is for this T34, the further away he moves the more we can damage him because our shells are getting more and more drop, more vertical drop. Fire another shell in there, T-34 has disappeared though, he's backed off, he's, he's, uh, he's had enough. Our VTU's asking for help and we're just saying, yep, yeah, no problem, we're reloading. 
shot out on the T29 and we start to slowly take them apart. We're up to 1124 of known damage currently. Shot out. Another 119 damage done. Now you can see we readjust my aim here and I'm aiming for the engine deck of the T29 with a view to dropping the shell into the engine deck. Take his track out again there. He's used his repair kit though. Now as you can see the lead we give there. That's as I, as I said before, the shell travel time on Bert is really long. And as we see there, the T29 calls us hacker or hicker. So uh, it's confirmed Bert is the best hicker. EU confirmed. Shot out. As you can see, he's, he believes he's still safe here, but thanks to the way we are, he's not. We spot the Rheinmetall in the middle here, and we wait, we look for the, we look for our shot, we're trying to feather the shot onto the Rheinmetall. Shot out. Oh, we hit the rock though. No, Bert, come on, come on Bert. We've got a shot, can we get the drop? Shot out. Oh, we hit the rock again. Oh. But oh. oh, he's going backwards. And there we go, 477 damage. It's the kind of damage Burt can do when it hits flush. Now, as you can see, I'm leading back here, think, trying to guess where he'll be. Shot out, and we killed the Rheinmetall. Arthy. <laughs> so Burt is the best hacker EU confirmed. Uh, 4.8k WNA was showing on that replay there with 3 kills and 2099 damage. However, remember, we did some blind damage, so let's have a look what that looks like in the post game results. Okay, so, Bert, so here we go, Bert is the best hacker EU confirmed, according to our friend there in the T29. Uh, that was Zerst30 from GFT. Uh, as you can see, mastery by Jim Burt, 42,307 credits earned with 3,082 XP. Again, times two, first game of the day. XP for that game was 6,494, which is absolutely awesome. We go to the team score, and as we can see, proudly sitting on top of the team is the TVP, but we still gained over 1,000 base experience for our 2.6k of damage. Um, which is comfortably enough to put a second on the team in a tier 8 game. Which is pretty awesome for a little arty like Bert. Our counterpart there, Simmons, uh, in his in his 3 or 4, unfortunately didn't have as good a game as we did. He did less than half our damage. Um, but still, good effort. Well done there. In our, in our report here, as you see, we fired 31 shells. 18 hit, 17 penetrated. Uh, 10 splash damages in total. Uh, enemy vehicles damaged or destroyed. We damaged eight and we destroyed three, and we didn't have to travel very far either. Um, auto resupply of consumables was ten thousand credits. As you can see, I run pudding and tea, and this was last weekend, I believe, when they were all half price. So there you go, always worth doing. Um, but yeah, uh, the FE three or four, Bert the Avenger, or Bert the little bastard. Um, I absolutely adore this little thing. It's one of my go to stress relief toys um, so you know I really recommend these to this tank I know it's an artillery and I know they hate it by everyone but you can't help but love Bert um, anyway that's the second replay of the day for you guys um, there's more coming up on the channel so stick around and I'll see you soon guys cheers bye